Educators want state lawmakers to lower their health care costs, and they want the state to invest more in their pension fund. The cost of benefits, teachers say, has made living unaffordable. I work three jobs. I teach full time, I drive at night, and I teach one night a week, gifted and talented. Claire Date says driving a limo at night is the only way to make ends meet. Her small raises each year have been surpassed by the rising cost of health care premiums. When you only get $50 a month, $500 a year raise, and your benefit cost is more than $500 a year, you end up that you make less every single year. What is your benefit cost? $14,000 a year. Hundreds of teachers throughout the state have been protesting this cost. Here are teachers today in Trenton and earlier this week in Franklin Lakes. We've been hurting since 1996 when Governor Christy Whitman first started taking from our pension fund. We're making our pension payments. The state hasn't made theirs. And then now, you know, the bean counters are coming in and say, oh, we can't fund this. We can't take care of you guys. It's like, wait a second. We've been doing our job. And as you can see, these teachers are trying to get your attention as well. They have turned to face the camera to show you their signs. Now, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy has been pushing to raise taxes on the state's wealthiest to, in part, provide relief for these teachers. But the state's leading lawmaker in the Senate wants to rein in benefit costs instead of raising taxes. And that idea was rejected by these teachers here today.